Welcome to the Empire's training videos. When you reach the end of this video, you will have learned the processes and elements involved in joining the battlefield in Empires. When you launch the game, you'll arrive at the main menu screen. Note that your options are to find a server to connect, create your own server, edit your options or controls, and to exit the game. When you select the Find Server option, the master server list will appear. You are encouraged to join a server that is aimed towards new players, as these servers will typically contain other new players or veteran players who can help you learn the basics. When you first arrive in the game, the message of the day, or MOTD, will appear. Please acknowledge and respect the server rules listed in the MOTD. Click the OK button to proceed. Next, the team selection menu will appear. Note that teams and empires are separated into two major factions, the Brunoti Empire, also known as BE, and the Northern Faction, also known as NF. At this menu, you may choose to join either faction, to spectate, or to let the game automatically assign you to a team. Keep in mind that on almost all servers, you will not be able to join a team with more players. Choose Auto Assign to join a team. After joining a team, the Class slash Weapon selection menu will appear. In Empires, there are four infantry classes to choose from. The Engineer, the Grenadier, the Rifleman, and the Scout. On this menu, you will also select your weapons, grenades, and skills, some of which are unique to each infantry class. Icons with a plus sign in the bottom left indicate that you can choose between more than one weapon or grenade. As a beginner, you are encouraged to select the Engineer class with the Repair Upgrade skill under Class Specific Skills, as it provides the most support to your team. Hit the Accept button to proceed. The next menu is the Spawn Selection menu. Available spawn points are shown as blue circles if you joined BE, or red circles if you joined NF. Spawn locations will either be a barracks, a captured flag point, or an APC. Click on one of the circles to select a spawn point. Another circle will appear around it to indicate that you have selected that spawn point. Once you've selected a spawn point, either click the close button or hit the enter key to close the menu. Then, click the left mouse button to spawn. Now you are on the battlefield. Keep in mind that your spawn point could be destroyed or captured at any time. In the event that this happens, simply press the enter key and choose a new spawn point. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the battlefield.